Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial of Blender 2.8. Today I am going to show how to import an SVG file to Blender and give to it some depth. So let's start by opening any program we would like that can create curved objects. For this tutorial I am going to use Corel Draw, But you can use anyone you want. Also Adobe Illustrator works perfectly with curves. Now, create a text and scale it up. Find any font you want and apply it to the text. I have also created a cube and bevel it to the left and right. We can create any curved object by simple drawing some curves. For this video we are not going to create something extreme. Just a curves text and a cube in order for you to be easier to follow. Now that I am satisfied with the final curves, it's time to select everything and align them at center. Bevel the corner of the box just a little to make them rounded. Select the text and convert it to curves. Text has to be converted to curves. We are ready to export our curves, so go to File, then Export. Write the name you want and find the SVG file type. Click Export and OK. Time to open Blender 2.8. Go to File Import and from the drop down select SVG. Choose the file we created previously. Press A to select all the objects. Then press R and X axis. Type 90 degrees. Now press S to scale and drag your mouse until it reaches the desired size. Select the text and at the right panel go to Curves tab. Select to expand geometry. Set a value of 0.02. This time select the bottom line, but this time extrude two times the text. This is to give a more depth to the line than the text. Select all the objects with A and go to Materials tab. Set whatever color you like. This is how simple you can create 3D objects from curves. Now I am going to create the environment for the render. I am setting origins to be on the center. Shift and A to create a new object and select a plane. Scale with S to fit the background of the camera. Click Tab to go to Edit Mode and select the back edge. Click E to extrude and then press C to select axis. Drag your mouse. After that select the middle edge and press Ctrl and B to bevel. Mouse scroll to add some more loops and then left click. Click Tab again to exit edit mode. Then press Tab and search for Smooth. Time to add a camera to the view. Shift and A and add a camera. Press 0 to the Noom pad to go to camera view. Zoom till the frame fits the screen size. Press N to open the properties panel. From view check lock camera to viewport. Move the camera to fit the objects to the camera view. Final step is to add a sun to the environment. Shift and A again. Lights and click sun. Go to the right panel and select Lights tab if it's not selected. Select a warmer color and change brightness to a value of 10. From different views, rotate sun where you like so that objects are lighter. Time to render. Go to Render Panel and allow ambient occlusion and screen space reflections. Change samples to a higher number. Time to render our image. Go to the toolbar and select Render. Then select Render Image. You can always press F12 for shortcut. And look how Fats image is rendered. That's why I like the way EV Engine is working with my GTX 1080 Ti. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. New videos are coming up soon, so please hit that belt icon for more. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.